Hello and welcome to online math coaching. Okay, today we will start a very important topic center of the triangle. Every exam, two questions must come from this topic. Okay, so try to understand, then we will focus on question. First, what is the median? Median is the line joining from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. This is median. Okay, means BD is equal to DC. Okay, AD is the median. A median divides the triangle into equal area. These two area are equal. Okay, now a point where all the three medians of the triangle meet. These are the three medians. Is called centroid. In Hindi, we call it Kendak. Okay, it is generally denoted by G. The point of intersection of all the three medians in a triangle is called centroid. Okay, now in this figure there are six triangles one, two, three, four, five, six. Area of this six triangle are equal. Okay, for example, if the area of the triangle ABC is 60, then each triangle area is 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Okay, very important property. On based on centroid and median, we will discuss in our next video. Thank you. Hello and welcome to online math coaching. Today we will discuss a very important concept on centroid. As already discussed, what is centroid and what is median? Now the two important properties. Centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. Means this is centroid and this is median but two part will be towards the vertex means this is 2 and this is 1 we can say that AG upon GD BG upon G or CG upon GF ratio is 2 is to 1 for example median length is 30 this means AG will be 20 and GD will be 10 so central divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 2 is towards the vertex okay now the second property very important we will use in quadrilateral especially in the parallelogram okay apollonius theorem and especially CGL means targeted apollonius theorem it can be applied in any one of the median okay for example if ad is the median how what this form says that ab square plus ac square means adjacent side square sum is equal to 2 multiply by AD square median square plus either I can BD or DC because both are equal BD square or I can put DC square because both are equal also I can put BD into DC because these both are same also I can put a BC square upon 4 because BD is half of BC similarly similarly for the median BE this term is this okay now whatever the type of triangle it may be scaled in obtuse acute right angle centered of the triangle always lies inside the triangle it will never lies outside the triangle whatever the type of the okay for more videos like this whatsapp on 97 284-35915 Thank you. Now we will move to our next type. What is the angle bisector? Angle bisector is the line from the vertex which divide the angle in two equal parts means these two angle are equal and AD is called angle bisector but students always take this BD is equal to DC no that's in case of median okay also angle this and this angle is equal okay where all the three angle bisector of a triangle meet this point is called in center and usually denoted by I okay what is the in center in center is the center of a circle which touches the sides from the inside this circle center is called in center 
okay now we will try to see the properties on this but i will want to tell in finding the area of the triangle i will use this r multiply by scs red student put a problem in front of it. so i am discussing area of the triangle is r multiply by s where r is the in radius the radius of this in circle and s is the semi perimeter malo half of the perimeter then property based on this i will discuss in our next video now we will discuss the properties based on the angle bisector very important property called angle bisector theorem there are two properties are here also what angle bisector theorem says the angle bisector divides the opposite side in the ratio bd is to bc this ratio is equal to the ratio of the remaining two sides or we can say adjacent side means ab is to ac for example if this is 6 and this is 4 then bd ratio dc will be 6 is to 4 means 3 is to see here if a b is 10 b c is 20 b d ratio d c will be 1 is 2 2 this is the interior angle bisector theorem but it also applies to the exterior angle okay see how this is the bisector of the interior a and this is the bisector of the exterior a okay the same property is there b d ratio dc is equal to ab is to ac you can see the application in the question okay for more videos like this whatsapp on this very important contact number thank you hello now we will discuss the second property based on first is the angle bisector theorem second based on the angle that is based on side okay what this theorem says that the relation between if i is the in center the angle bic angle bic is equal to 90 degree plus the angle opposite half of the opposite angle angle a by Similarly, this angle, this angle will be equal to angle CIA is equal to 90 plus B by 2. And similarly, this angle, angle BIA is equal to angle CY2. Now, how can we drive it? Because math is to understand, not to cram. Okay, C in triangle BIC, if I take this triangle BIC, okay as b is the angle bisector this means this is b by 2 this is b by 2 similarly this is c by 2 but we know that in any triangle sum of all the three angle is always equal to 180 okay so angle b i c plus angle b by 2 plus angle c by 2 is 180 degree this means b i c is equal to this but in the larger triangle b a plus b plus c is 180 this means b plus c is equal to 180 degree minus a i can put this we can drive this in exam direct question is there for example if angle a is given 30 we can find angle b i c if angle b i c is given we can find angle a that's it okay now this can be applied to the exterior angle also how c if the this was the interior bisectors but if the exterior bisector this is the exterior bisector meet at the point i dash okay then the relation changes only changes in plus of minus air sign will come as minus okay so focus if exterior angle is there sign is minus if interior angle is gear sign will be
plus thank you for more videos like this whatsapp on nine seven two eight four three five nine one five thank you hello now we will move to our next type of the center okay see what is the perpendicular bisector there are two things one is the bisector other is perpendicular bisector median is the bisector of the side bisector means divides into equal parts but what is the perpendicular bisector this means this at the midpoint perpendicular is drawn okay where all the three sides perpendicular bisector meets this is point is called circum center what is called circum center what is the circum center circum center is the center of a circle passing through all the three vertices passing through all the three vertices and the radius of this is noted by r called circum radius okay there is very important property as we can see in circle the angle made by any chord at the center is double of the angle made at the circumference okay same apply here angle b o c is double of angle 2a similarly angle a o c is two of angle b Sim if very important relation also exist to find the area of the triangle area of the triangle is equal to a b c where a b c are the side divided by 4 r where r is the circum radius okay hope you understand now we will move to our next center what the next center is ortho center first we need to know what is the altitude altitude is the perpendicular drawn from the vertex to the opposite side it is not necessary that it is the midpoint okay it is the perpendicular drawn it is called altitude or height where all the three perpendicular altitude meets this is called ortho center usually it is noted by h okay there is only one property what is this there are two type of angles supplementary or complementary complementary angle means sum of two angle is 90 degree supplementary means sum of two angle is 180 degree means angle bhc and angle a are supplementary means their sum is 180 degree if this is 40 this will come out to be 140 if this is 150 this would come out to be 30 similarly this angle and this angle are supplementary and this angle are this angle are supplementary for more videos like this whatsapp on this number thank you hello now we will see the relation between all the four center we have studied so far relation between centroid ortho center and circum center okay centroid ortho center circum center and center all the four centers of any triangles are collinear collinear smells always line on a single line okay but line may not be straight this line may be this this line may be this this line may be this like this okay centroid is there is important property between these three centroid ortho center and circum center centroid is always between ortho center and circum center very important distance between the centroid g is the centroid h is the ortho center and o is the circum center distance between the centroid and ortho center is always twist the distance between the center and the circum center centroid and circum center okay whatever be the type of the triangle i repeat whatever will be the type of the triangle centroid and in center of a triangle always lies within the triangle always lies within the triangle but 
ortho center and circum center may lie outside we will see in our next slide okay see i will discuss the position of the centers in the different triangle equilateral triangle in equilateral triangle all the in equilateral triangle all the centers lies on the same point same is the in center same is the circum center same is the centroid okay in right angle triangle this is very important concept okay ortho center lies at the point where right angle is present or center is this circum center is at the mid point of the hypotenuse okay now we will discuss obtuse angle triangle what obtuse angle triangle says ortho center and circum center lies outside ortho center lies at the back side of the obtuse angle and circum center lies in front of the obtuse angle these are very very important property for more videos like this whatsapp on 9728435915 thank you hello and welcome to online math coaching okay today i will discuss a very important triangle and a very important concept for cgl mains right angle triangle in right angle triangle ortho center lies at a point where angle is 90 here angle is 90 the ortho center of the triangle is at this point the main important thing is circum center circum center lies on the mid point of the hypotenuse mid point of the hypotenuse means this circum center is the center of a circle which passes through the vertices of a triangle so this means this is radius this is radius and this is radius these three parts are equal because radius will be equal from here a result will come out very important result if this angle is 90 degree then this side this one and this one all are equal its converse is true if anywhere i will see these three one two and three equal automatically this angle will come out to be 90 i will discuss a very important question on this but student are always misguided that this line is also perpendicular on it but this is not a true the perpendicular and this circum radius are different things perpendicular always not on the midpoint but if this and this are equal then these both are same okay and a very important result the relation between the length of the perpendicular and the side if this side is a this is b then 1 upon p square is equal to 1 upon a square plus 1 upon b square one more important result is the in the radius in the radius of any right angle triangle can be drawn by this formula perpendicular plus base minus hypotenuse divided by 2 for example any triangle 6 8 and 10 this is a triplet this from right angle triangle its in radius will come out to be 6 plus 8 minus 10 divided by 2 4 by 2 is 2 is the in radius of this triangle for more tricky videos like this or online coaching whatsapp on my number 9728435915 thank you as discussed in the previous video a very important concept concept says that if this is right angle then both these all the three will be equal its converse is also true if anywhere i find this 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 and this equal this angle will come out to be 90 degree let's discuss a very important question on this concept in any triangle g is the centroid centroid is the point of the intersection of the medians of any triangle and it is also given as ag is equal to bc AG is equal to BC. We have to find the value of the angle B G C means this angle. Okay. C 
what's the property of the centroid says that centroid divide a triangle median in the ratio 2 is to 1 let's assume that this median ad is 30 any i can assume any well 30 this means ag will be 20 and this will be 10 but it is also given that ag is equal to bc ag is 20 this means that bc is also 20 also median divides the opposite side into equal parts mean this means bd is 10 and dc is 10 c this is 10 this is 10 and this is 10 this means this this and this three part are equal that means angle bgc will be 90 degree very very important questions for cgl means for more videos like this or for online coaching whatsapp on my number 9728435 915 thank you